Alrighty guys, welcome back to another one. I know we meant to do this video months ago, but we're just now getting to it. We're shooting some double 73 caliber round balls, all four loads are the same. First, we're gonna do it out of a smooth bore, you know, non-rifled with a cylinder bore choke. And then we're gonna do it with a Carlson's rifled choke. I got this from Stevens Firearms in Ashland, Kentucky, our favorite gun store. Anyway, we're going to take one of these at 30 and the other one at 42, like always, and then switch to the rifle choke and do the exact same. See which one's better. I got a feeling it's going to be the rifle choke. Any guesses for you, Josh? Uh, I'm going off to you. All right, guys, we're sitting here at 42 yards. I had the chrono on. We're going to try to measure velocity, but the light is a little bit low. So might not get it, but that's okay. Anyway, the load is a brand new primed Shadat Hall, 43 grains of little gun. The Clay Buster 12S3 clone with the shot cup cut off, Mylar wrap, and two 73 caliber round balls, which weigh 1.3 ounces each, for a total of dang near a two and five eighth ounce load. This is through the smooth bore, non rifled cylinder bore choke. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. But anyway, hopefully we can measure the velocity. Alrighty. Whoa. Wow. It jumped on me. 1101 FPS. Hey, buddy. Yeah. You wasn't expecting that, was you? No, it jumped off the uh, chrono. Uh, not chrono, but lead sled. Yep, see, it smacked you stupid. All right, guys, we're at 30 yards now, exact same load. The two that's down there has about a six to seven inch spread. Let's see what they do at 30. Looks like those two went through the same hole. Let me tell you guys, recoil is fierce out of this thing. But the holes look just fine. That was a twice fired now. But, yeah, I think those two went through the same hole. Alright guys, here's my first shot from the bench. We have a, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. About a six inch spread on those, which is not bad, but... Right here, both balls went through the same hole. That is a big hole and also big recoil. Let's see if the rifle choke can tighten it up. Alrighty guys, I'm up next. I've got here the, what is this thing? New England Firearms. It's a three and a half inch 12 gauge anyways, but we've now got a Carlson's rifle choke in it. I'm shooting, there are two round balls is what it is, but it's 43 grains of little gun. The Clay Buster 12S3 clone with a mile R wrap, two 73 caliber round balls. Um, roughly 40 to 42 yards. Fun fact, it should be right around, I think, 85 to 90 foot pounds of felt recoil. So, without further ado, let's see what happens. Y'all ready? There's one. That wasn't bad, actually. I only see one hole. Yep. They tracked right through the same hole. We'll go ahead and fire it. We know exactly where 30 yards is because rangefinder. <laughs> this clump of trees. Yep. Anyway. But, alrighty, we're up here at 30 yards now. Let's see how well this works. Everybody ready? I almost put four balls through the same hole with two shots. Yep. All the <laughs> holes look just fine. If y'all wondering in the video, these are the loads that makes Jaren look like a rag doll. Here's his first shot, almost through the same hole. It looked like one hole from back there. Here's the second one. Maybe there's not that much of a difference between the uh, non-rifled and rifled. There really ain't. I guess you could say the rifle was slightly slightly worse. There is a quarter inch gap instead of no gap between them two. Yep, and mine, the hole was right here. Two went through the exact same hole, and then I had one here and one here. Yeah. Groups are about the same, honestly. Couldn't have got closer to the same hole on Josh's. Nope less than an inch apart <laughs> that gun is ferocious with these loads guys yep i tell you what the 835 really tames these big loads like that oh, not yeah, so man. much that thing this thing don't tame nothing <laughs> well guys those loads were interesting to say the least and like i mentioned at the beginning of this video we meant to shoot those like two months ago but we just forgot and one of you guys reminded us you were interested in seeing how they did and well we figured why not do it now Strange phenomena here occurred. At 42 yards, both of them had about a 7-inch spread, 6-7-inch spread. But at 30 yards, 
they were going through dang near the same hole or the same hole. So it seems 30 to 35 yards is where these really shine. Anything past that and you start to spread out a little bit. Interesting to me. I really thought the rifle choke would uh, really keep them together, but it didn't seem to help any. Maybe a fully rifled bore would. However, we do not have a fully rifled three and a half inch 12 gauge yet. We do have two ultra slug barrels in 12 gauge and um, I'm really wanting to get one of those reamed out to three and a half. Or we could find a Mossberg 835 rifled barrel. I actually found one a few months ago at a pawn shop across, um, well, it's in the town called Moorhead. It's about 30 minutes from here. And they had one, but they wanted more than the 835 that was sitting on the shelf right underneath it, like 30 bucks more for just the barrel. That's kind of steep. I do advise not firing these out of a single shot 12 gauge. That weighs like five or six pounds. Recoil is monstrous. It's not as bad as the two and three quarter ounce loads. These weighed <laughs> an eighth ounce less at two and five eighth, but still the recoil is just massive. It hurts a little bit, to be honest. That gun has a built-in recoil pad and we've added like a pound and a half iron rod that comes with the H&R 10 gauges to the buttstock of that gun. And I took the end off and drilled it out and filled it full of a uh, quad buck. So we've added probably a couple pounds to that gun. It's probably closer to six and a half pounds now than the five and a half it used to weigh. And uh, it's still a handful with those heavy loads. I mean, you guys saw what it did with the uh, lead sled. It jumped right off of it. Uh, to tell you the truth, that almost came out of my hands. That's the first time we've ever been trusted that gun, especially with a heavy load like that. And the recoil again was just tremendous. Nearly every single time that we're out there shooting, we usually end up taking some uh, heavy loads like that, but we shoot them through the 835. So they're not that bad. They're actually pretty mild out of the 835. It's a lot more than a regular two or two and a quarter ounce load, but still, it's totally manageable. That single shot's rough though. Anyway, guys, please like and subscribe. We always appreciate that. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below, and we'll get back to you. And if you want to, go check out our Patreon. It's as low as a dollar a month, and you guys get early access to content. A link to that, along with a link to our Instagram and Rumble accounts, will be in the description below. But other than that, you guys take it easy, and we'll see you in the next one.